hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel let's make banana bread please stick around and watch this video first I'm gonna start by creaming the butter and the sugar and this is half cup of butter and you want your butter to be at room temperature and this is one cup of brown sugar and now we're just going to cream this together. This is nice and creamy. Now I'm going to add the eggs and I'm using three eggs. I'm going to add them gradually. Now it's time to mash the bananas up and I'm using three overripe banana. This is the best bananas to use to make a banana bread. So we're just peeling these off and adding it to the bowl. You can use a fork or you can use a potato masher. See, this is looking nice and this is all I wanted. It's okay if you have some lumps in it. It will make it even taste more banana -y. So this is looking nice. Now I'm just going to transfer the mashed bananas to the egg and the butter mixture. And I'm going to add one tablespoon of vanilla extract. And I'm just going to fold this in. I'll mix this in. Now I'm going to add one teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of cinnamon powder, and I'm going to add one cup of almond flour. I'm just going to mix this in. And this almond flour is going to give it a lot of flavor, I'm telling you. It's going to make it awesome. But if you don't get almond flour, you could use just all-purpose flour. Or you can use coconut flour or oats flour. Anything you want to use into it. So now I'm going to add one cup of flour. So if you're going to use flour instead of almond flour, you just use two cups of flour. So I'm just folding this in. And I'm going to add the rest of flour. So you want to mix this until the moisten, until you see no flour to it, no whiteness. So this is looking nice. Now we're going to add some walnuts to it. And I'm going to chop up some walnuts and add it to it. You can use pecans peanut and add some raisin too if you like but I'm just gonna use walnuts okay. this is not a must this is very optional but I just like to add some farm and nut to add some texture to the bread this is looking nice gonna give this a nice fold I'm telling you, this bread is going to taste amazing. The first time I tried, it was it was something to talk about. It was nice. Everyone liked it. So now we're going to... Now I decided to share this recipe with you guys. So I'm hoping you like it too. Alright. Now we're going to grease our baking tin. 
and preheat the oven at 350 degrees. Add some chopped walnuts on top. And now I'm gonna add this into the oven to bake for at least 15 to 30 minutes. And here you have it guys, the banana bread is done. It's smelling amazing. And you'll know when it's finished when you insert a toothpick or a skewer inside and nothing comes off on it. Oh my god, this is smelling good. Now we're just gonna I'll cool this. Gonna put this onto a cooling rack. And let it cool, then we cut into it. Oh my goodness. It is cool somewhat. <laughs> it's not all the way cool, but now we're just gonna cut into it. And you wanna use a serrated knife. Oh my goodness, look at that. So moist. Look at that. Oh my goodness. This is smelling so nice. Full of flavor. And looking so moist. Oh my goodness. I'm going to take this one. Look at this, guys. This is looking super moist and you can see some banana flavor from it not like the one you buy at the store and you barely taste bananas in it but these oh my you're gonna love this so please try out my recipe if you reach this far into the video don't forget to subscribe like and share and also leave me a comment down below thanks for watching guys i'm gonna do the taste test mm, this is the real deal super moist super flavorful as you bite into it you can taste the banana flavor oh my god the almond flour make it such a big difference mm -mm -mm. i love this bye guys